Hi sir, good morning. Yeah, good morning. May I know your good name? Yeah, Shiva Kumar sir. Yeah, uh, can I go with Shiva? Yes sir. Yeah, Shiva, can I have a resume? Yeah. Uh, Shiva, before going to the technical, so quickly uh, introduce yourself, like what is your uh, like uh, technical skills. Okay. Uh, hi sir, my name is Shiva Kumar. I am from Mahabur Nagar. I completed my bachelor degree Swami Vivekananda degree college. I completed my 12th standard Chaitanya Junior College and completed my SSC JPHS High School. My hobbies are reading books, playing cricket. My technical skills, my technical skills is Python, CSS, JavaScript, HTML, SQL. My coming to my, my family background, my father is a reader army. Yeah. He is a good hard worker. My mother is a housemaker. Is a is she is very she is very cool she is very cool person uh, that's yeah okay so you are comfortable with which programming language yeah python yeah python okay fine so uh, like uh, what is python shiva yeah python <coughs> python is a interpreter language is a scripting language also it supports oops concept oops means object oriented programs uh, inheritance inheritance polymorphism polymorphism is a scripting language is uh, using developed to uh, software software and uh, software and software application uh, software applications yeah okay. web applications yeah yeah fine, fine. that's all like uh, okay you know what is a python so then so inside the python so we have a one pvm yes. okay so can you explain that what is a pvm yeah. if uh, it's possible you can go with the architecture as well uh, PVM means Python virtual machine is conveyed to by code instruction into the machine code uh, instruction into co computer can executed computer can executed uh, instruction computer can executed machine code in instructions uh, instructions and to display the final output yeah okay so can you go with the architecture yeah, no, yeah okay fine so when you are going for the architecture you need to see like we are writing the source code we are, when we are compiling it will converting into bytecode then byte code to it will converting into machine and computer will shows the output yeah, okay. fine so like uh, what is a variable in python variable yeah variable means variables are three types sir okay. local variable and global variable yeah, okay they are, first of all local variable okay local variable means a variable defined into inside of the function in noun name local variable global variable means a variable a variable defined into outside of any function this now global variable yeah fine so you started with the types so when you are going to explain this answer you need to say variable is it is a word or a character so it will assign one value with the preferred data type okay so that one you need to say uh, if better we can give one example like int i equals to 10 like that also you can give, okay so fine and according to the placing that uh, variables we are giving the local and global variable so fine, like, uh, so what is the use of int separator in program? Uh, in, param so in parameter is used to specify a string that will be that will be printed the final output. However, however, the parameter is is used to specify between the items that you want to be printed that you want to be printed specify a string. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So what is identifiers in Python? Can you give some rules? Identifier. Ident like a class name or a variable uh, name. Identifiers is a name given to a name given to a variable, a class, a type, a function. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They are rules, two types. Uh, construction, construction and construction and identifiers is a string. Uh, the first character must be the first character must be now uh, upper class, upper class and lower class, lower class header. The remaining characters must be uh, lower. The remaining characters must be letters, digits. And underscore yeah okay like you can go some more identifiers like don't start the uh, identifier name as a with the digit don't use special characters except that dollar and underscore symbol yes. so, and don't use the predefined like already defined functions or already defined classes so that rules also you need to explain okay so whatever you said that fine so but better way you need to explain this uh, five to at least five rules you need to explain okay yeah, fine. So you said that you have ideology about uh, oops as well. Yes. Okay, inside that oops, what is abstract class and what is abstract method? Abstract class in Python typically create to declare a set of the collections. Okay. Declare the set of the collection. It must be create a child class. Okay. Yeah. 
similarly similarly abstract class similarly abstract class in uh, abstract class is one does not have any implementation yeah, okay so how can we create this abstract method and abstract class by using the abstract keyword and abstract method contain body no no actually abstract class contain a method names like function names and the function delivery was coming from the chains okay so once again you can go through that okay fine okay so like uh, can you explain the architecture of functions yeah. functions functions is a crucial component of a programming programming language okay. uh, python functions are a must python functions are a must python functions are a defined to uh, def key def keyword yeah, we can use any number of arguments yeah okay. yeah uh, fine so you know the type casting process in python yes what is type casting yeah, type casting is a two types sir yeah. <coughs> two types is implicitly python uh, python type cast type casting and uh, explicitly python type casting yeah Shiva like I agree with your answer like when you are going to answer this question so typecasting is a mechanism converting from one data type to another data type and here we have it two types like implicit and explicit if you are converting lower to higher means uh, yes lower to higher means it is a implicit higher data type to lower type means explicit so why because interviewer need this explanation okay so you are said the correct answer but uh, you need to make some explanation okay okay fine and like uh, what is functionality of super you, you see that super function Sorry. super function what is it no idea okay fine uh, we will move next question so have you practiced any programming yes, sir. like numbering programs uh, yeah, yeah uh, okay so you said that you have a knowledge on numbering programs as well yes, okay so i'm giving one input like uh, 153 uh -huh. so you need to find it is armstrong number of not yeah, okay, can you write the program? Yes, sir. Okay, uh, fine. we can mention. No need a class, uh, all those things, just I require a logic. Okay, like uh, in general way, how you can say it is Armstrong number? Yeah, you giving the you giving the one digit, sir. Yeah. I given one number, one five three. Yeah, one five three. Okay. Uh, you write in the cubes. Okay. Uh, it means. Means. Uh, one out, cube. One one cube means. Plus. Five cube plus. Five cube plus. Three, three cube, cube plus. Okay. Uh, total one fifty. One fifty. Uh, one. One fifty. Okay. Yeah, fine. Uh, don't get uh, scared. So just simply you can see. First, take the number. How many numbers we need to count? If the count is three, each the three will be converting to the power to the each individual number. Like one cube value one, five cube value one twenty five, three cube value twenty six. When we can sum of that cubes, then we are getting a same number. Same number. Okay. Yeah, that's the Armstrong number. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, Shiva, good talking with you. Like, uh, I think I done with my side. Do you have any queries to ask? No, sir. Yeah, okay, again. Yeah.